In this problem, we're going to be looking at actually how to prepare a buffer and how to determine what acid-base mixture is going to be best to get a specific pH um, buffer solution. So this is example on slide 34 of our chapter 18 PowerPoint. Question states, which acid would you choose to combine with its sodium salt to make a solution buffered at pH of 4.25? For the best choice, calculate the ratio of the conjugate base to the acid required to attain the desired pH. And we have four choices listed on the slide. Chlorous acid, which has a pKa of 1.95. Formic acid, which has a pKa of 3.74. Nitrous acid, which has a pKa of 3.34, and then hypochlorous acid, which has a pKa of 7.54. So this is technically a two-part question. First part is to figure out which one of these acidic solutions is going to make the best buffer for our desired pH. And second part is to figure out what ratio of the acid with its conjugate base is going to be best to make that buffer at a desired pH. So the first part is as simple as looking at the four pKa's that are listed on the slide and figuring out which one is the closest to our desired pH which is 4.25. So by inspection we can see that formic acid has pKa of 3.74, which happens to be the closest one to our desired buffer pH of 4.25. So starting off, best choice for our buffer is chlorous acid. pKa of 3.74 and chlorous acid has the formula HCHO2. So now that we know that we can basically use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation our desired pH and our known, known pKa to back calculate and figure out the ratio of base to acid that's going to give us close to our desired pH of 4.25 as possible. So a reminder, Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, pH is equal to pKa plus log of my base over my acid. Or you can think about it in this case, A minus over HA. So what we know in this problem is we know our pH and we know our pKa. And we're going to use that basically to figure out what ratio of base to acid um, will get us as close to pH of 4.25 as possible. So we can plug our pH, which is the desired pH of our buffer, 4.25 is equal to pKa, which we're looking at formic acid, pKa is 3.74, plus the log of our base over our acid. We don't know that, that's what we're trying to solve for. So we can subtract 3.74 from both sides and get basically log of our base over our acid equals 4.25 minus 3.74, which is equal to 0 0.51 if we do the math. And then to get rid of our log, so that we can just figure out ratio of base to acid, we're going to take that to the 10th power, and we can do that with our 0 0.51 as well. So if you take 
10 raised to the 0 0.51 power, we get that our base ratio to acid ratio is 3.24. And that's all they're looking for in this problem is to figure out what ratio of base to acid is going to give us a pH of 4.25. So first part of the answer is best choice for buffer is going to be chlorous acid. And the second part of my answer is that the base to acid concentration ratio should be 3.24.